What's up guys? It's Neko and I'm back with another video. Happy New Year. Happy, happy, happy New Year. Yes, I'm back making long form videos. I am in a different place. Boy, I'm so happy to be back posting long form videos and struggling to stare at the camera like a proper vlogger. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm back. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the new art supplies that I've got from Medin. And yeah, we're going to watercolor together and catch up and just, you know, chill. Um, I'm in a new space, as some of you guys may not recognize the space. I did move again. This is my final move. Final, final move. I'll be staying in this situation that I'm in for a while, like uh, maybe like a couple of years at this point. Me and my partner finally are living together in the same place and the, we, we won't be moving for a very long time. So there won't be any more, oh, updates or I'm moving, no. We're finally in a stable situation. So this is my new setup. Uh, I don't wanna go into depth about it in this video because I just won't probably do a dedicated video once I feel like I'm finally done getting it together. I have this half of my kitchen where I will be making stuff, but you'll probably see a little bit. I may or may not do a dedicated video to my workstation tours for this house, which will be my workstation for a very long time. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys actually want to see a video about my updated workstation. Anyways, so in this video, I'm going to show you some of the new products that I was gifted by Medin and Medin, Medin, um, I'll be showing you guys some of the products that they were so kindly to send to me and I reached out to them because I seen that they work with a couple of people on YouTube, artists on YouTube, and I really, really love art supplies. Do y'all know me? <laughs> I love, love. I reached out to them about specific items and they were so kind to send it to me. So yes, I'm super excited to show you guys the stuff that I have. And the reason why I really want to work with them is because this semester of school, which starts January 29th for me, I will be doing watercolor, I will be doing painting class. So I wanted to update my home studio items so that I can comfortably do homework from home. Because at school we have easels, we have like this, the equipment that we need. And when I'm home, I wanna be able to practice the skills that I'm learning in school at my workstation, at my home you know, studio situation. And I felt like I was missing a couple items. So I'll show you the items that they were so kind to give me and how I plan to use them. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first item I'd like to introduce you guys to is this tabletop easel. Now I have a I have one desk right currently um, due to my space. So this thing is pretty big on my desk. So this is what it is without that on my desk and this is it with the tabletop easel on my desk so the reason why i want this tabletop easel was because one i want to draw more elevated in school i'm used to drawing at an angle now so when i'm painting and sketching and using charcoal or whatever medium we're using for the day pencil i have become accustomed to drawing at a elevated um way so um Yes, in art school, we draw on easels. We either stand or we have like the stationary uh, board that we put on like a sitting easel. So I'm used to drawing like this now. So this is basically how I draw in school. When I draw in life drawing, when I'm drawing in my advanced drawing class, when I'm drawing in advanced life drawing class, I am drawing at an angle. So I thought this would be the perfect um, addition to my work setup at home for schoolwork and other large um pieces that I will be working on. Um, it also has this extendable top to it. So I can use canvases on this as well. I can use canvases on this as well because this comes up, right? So you can put a canvas on it or what I've been doing for my past couple of, um, I've been testing this for about a week or two. What I've been doing is I've been taking a sketchbook and basically putting the sketchbook on here like this and just drawing a like flat sketchbook and just 
drawing it. So it's pretty comfortable for me. I'm able to sit at my desk and draw on it like this with a sketchbook. Or again, I can use just a piece of paper. And today's demonstration, I will be just using this piece of paper. So it's a nice surface. And then, of course, you can use a canvas. You have a can. Oh, yeah, you can get pretty good range for your canvas, right? Another good thing about this easel is that it has multiple adjustments. So let's take you guys to the back of it. This is the back. This is where we tighten up, tighten up the range. And then, if you want to have it more, um, if you want to have it more tilted, all you have to do is use these knobs. There's knobs on both sides and you can have it as low as you want, as low as like flat, which doesn't really work for me because I really, I'm using it because I need my art to be elevated. Um, yeah, these are the different stages of height you can go to. It can go even higher, you just have to adjust both sides. So let's, let's put it at its highest. Right, but I prefer it to be like slightly slanted up, so we'll just keep it there. You adjust both sides just like this, like so, and that's how I tend to use it with paper. And I just sit here and I draw. So I'm super excited today to do a um, painting with you guys on this tabletop easel. I love it so much. I love the, I have my water set up in the water um, container from Medine. And I have my palette, my porcelain palette from Medine as well. And we're gonna get to it. Um, a little bit about the art. This is a picture of my character, Mary Jane. She is one of those anthropomorphic characters. You guys have probably seen her. If you've been following me for a very long time, you've probably seen her. So this is inspired from my advanced drawing class. We had to keep a sketchbook every day in that class. Let me know, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see a tour of this book. I mean, it's pretty like mid, I'm not gonna lie, but I really like these two um, bust shots that I did, which inspired me to make a bunch of bust shot paintings of my characters. I more than likely will do Mars next, my other character, but I'm doing Mary today. So this is basically based off her and I'm excited to watercolor this and use the new supplies. So this is on nine by 12, um, arches paper. I pulled out the good stuff today. So we can do a very, very nice painting. So this is the arches paper that I'm using. And yeah, let's get right on into the painting and then I'll talk to you guys. Voice over Neko here and I am using the porcelain palette from Medine and I'm using the little water wash brush porcelain um, thing that they also were so kind to send me. This holds a bunch of water, so I decided to use keep one side clean and use one side for like most of like the dirty dirty water. But yeah, I really like how smooth this palette is. It, you can't go wrong with a porcelain palette. I feel like with these type of watercolor creamy type materials, I feel like it's just very easy to blend. There's a lot of blending space, and I love these little little slots because I can blend my colors and just like kind of like funnel them into the slots. Also like I can start with a color and then add a color to it. And as you guys see me doing there, I was making like this pastel color cause my character is like a very pastel blue. And yeah, I feel like it was very easy to map out my colors with the slots being available. And there's so many slots. Like I really, really like the versatility of the porcelain palette. And I really like the amount of water that I'm able to have at my disposable use without having to get up to change my water so many times so these are all the materials that medine was so kind to send me and i really really like using them i really want to get back into painting and i really want to have supplies that are accessible for me to you know focus on my drawings and get things looking cute <laughs> let's show you guys my drawing right here and yeah i had a lot of fun using these art supplies so thank you medine for um 
sending these over if you guys want to check out Medin and you want to check out some of their art supplies I do have a code that you guys can use in the description box below for 10% off your order so if you guys want to check out their stuff I highly highly recommend it um it did help these these products did help um uh fasten my workflow I feel like I really I needed these so thanks again Medin for sending them over and as you guys can see I'm using the easel to paint and I'm showing you guys how I'm painting my character I'm still practicing my watercolor and I hope to show you guys some of the techniques that I learned in my class that I will be starting in about a week because I'm taking a watercolor class and I hope to show you guys some of the techniques while also using these supplies to you know do what I have to do for my classes which is going to be super fun and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I think I'm going to hand you guys over to the time lapse and I hope you guys enjoy the art. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any other videos you want to see me do this year. I'm really trying to just do videos that I really, really like with materials that I want to practice and just get back into character art and just enjoying art in general for like personal, you know, use. And then we might do a couple of educational videos here. Who knows? I want to start sharing some of my learnings from school. So who knows? But anyways, always. Thank you guys for watching and please check out the Medine on Instagram and on YouTube and check out their online shop. They have a lot of great items that I feel like a lot of you painter people would love to like own or check out or at least try. And yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!